everyone and welcome back to Cask 529. I'm Brian. And I'm Shauna. Today we've got a special bottle that we're going to taste uh, that one of our friends picked up for Shauna last weekend, I believe. Yes, he was in Kentucky and he had remembered that I had asked him to be on the lookout for this very special bottle of Woodford Reserve. It is the Sonoma Triple Finish, um, the um, 2023 release. It's the limited edition series number 19. Only 700 ml bottle. I don't know why they've started going to 700 ml bottles, but hopefully maybe eventually one year they'll go back to 750. <laughs> um, 90.4 proof. And this is finished in Kentucky with its Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey finished in wine and brandy barrels. Sonoma Triple Finish is a unique blend of Woodford Reserve Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey that has been finished in Sonoma County, Pinot Noir, brandy, and former bourbon barrels used to age red wine. The, the result of that is a rich, fruity, vanilla, and spice forward expression of Woodford Reserve Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. So with that said, I have been very anxious to try this. I know Woodford started this master's collection, I think in 2004. I wanna make sure I'm telling you guys, yeah, in 2004. And then in 2014 is when they started experimenting with like some different barrels, mm -hmm. um, wine barrels and stuff like that to put a different type of finish on it. Well, I know I'm surprised that it's set here for a week. I guess tomorrow will be a week it's set here. Yes. So, um, that's pretty phenomenal because I know how bad she wanted this bottle. So I did, I did. So now I'm anxious to give it a whirl and see, see if it, I don't want to say disappoints because it's not going to disappoint. It won't disappoint. <laughs> Sweet. You can definitely smell the sweetness. You can uh, pick up the wood, but you can also definitely pick up the brandy that that rich sweetness is mm -hmm. um, the brandy that we're smelling on the nose. Doesn't smell hot at all. Of course, it's only a 90.4 proof, so. On the palate, you pick up the Woodford oak Yep. taste that you would expect on a Woodford Reserve. And then it is finishing with that sweetness. You pick up a little yeah. bit of there's, the... There's something kind of wrapped around that oak. I can't really lay right. my finger It's the brandy. <clears throat> but on the finish, you can, if, if you drink red wine, you can taste the, the finish with that wine aftertaste on it. It's really, it's, it is really it's good. It's so smooth. Picking up some um, darker chocolates. I, it's a, a, a sweetness, and I'm sure it's coming from the brandy and mixed with the wine and the chocolate. I really get the brandy, that brandy sweet spice. It's just kind of all wrapped up into one, uh, the second taste I got that. Yeah, it, it's really good. I, yeah, I like it. Yeah, it really it. is. Like the second taste was different from the first. There was... And so this is the neck pour of this. Right. Um, so I am really anxious for this to open up in a, you know, a month or so from now, taste it to see. But let me tell you, definitely well worth the wait. For a neck pour, it's really good. Super glad that our friend picked this up for us. Um, here in Ohio, the MSRP for the bottle is 150 for the 700 ml bottle. Would I pay, seven, would I pay $150 again for the 700 ml bottle? Yes, I would. Yeah, it's really. It's it's very very good. One, I almost want to say. It might be better than the. The earlier one that we did. 
Well, it doesn't have quite the heat, but this is 90, that's 127 proof. Right, well this one was 124.7, and this is the um, Master's Collection. I just, I just want to do a little pour and compare these two. This is the Batch Proof match, Master's Collection for the 2023 release. And I know that we really, really enjoyed this one. So I just want to kind of You should have a lot more burn there. You do have a lot more burn. <clears throat> Two different. You know, one thing about Woodford Reserves, you can always pick up that, that oak. It's heavily defined in their bourbons. That one isn't as sweet, but it has such good, rich flavors and a nice, nice burn. It's not a burn your tongue off burn. It's a nice, no. nice, simple burn. But they really are. They're two very distinct flavors between the two of them. With this one, you're picking up the sweetness. You're picking up the, the oak, the uh, hint of chocolate flavors. That's the brandy. The Sonoma. Yeah, this is the right. Sonoma. Yeah. Um, you know what? I, I wanted to say that this one was a, a lot better than this one, but I'm not because they're different, but they're both so, so very enjoyable. I, you can't go wrong with either of them. If yeah. you find them, I personally would recommend picking them up. They're, and, like, and like you said, they, they are, com they're completely different, but yet that Woodford that Woodford Oak is there. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's really the first thing that you detect is the oak. Yeah. I feel. I mean, then this rolls into the Sonoma rolls into that sweet brandy. It's yeah, this is really good. Very, 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 very good. So while we're going to finish these up, I did want to share that um, Brian did get and our friend Terry, um, with a little bit of my help, I wasn't a whole lot of help at all, honestly, but um, I kept the coloring mixed and stuff, which is a busy job, just not what, yeah. what those two did. I, I really didn't get to film any of the countertop pour because we were, there was the three of us and we all had active jobs and constant. It was, I took one picture um, after the first bucket of concrete was poured into the form. And that was really the last free minute I had for the next four or five hours probably. Yeah. So we, we just did the, the top bar part. Um, we have to do the, the, the counter part. level. So I ha the, the bottom part did not get done because I may or may not have ordered enough form because I changed upper design some that required a little bit more form usage. So I had to order some more form for the lower level. It should be in hopefully by the end of the week. And so I am really going to try hard to set up a camera on Brian. I think it'll be a little bit easier since he's not doing the outer edge that I can set one up as he's working the concrete. But um, if we can figure it out, I'll have him put in a couple pictures of the countertop, what got done yesterday, so that you guys can see it. I apologize. It it just was so... <laughs> and I know there's a few people that wanted to see that, so I apologize that that yeah. is not, we'll, was we'll not filmed. We'll do another shot at a video when we do the lower level, but we, will. Uh, we should. We do have some pics after it was done yesterday, yeah. so we'll try to kind of overlay those in here. Yes. Um, it's exciting. It is. It's it's a lot of bar top. And and I <laughs> I will tell you, um, we did a really great show on Friday night. It was it was fun. It was a great show. It was six different tequilas that were wonderful. We had some friends. We did. Um, 
We went to edit that video yesterday. Last night. Last night, After only everything. to find there was no audio to that video. We are so disappointed not to share that with you. So we are going to try because um, Bob that came on the show with us, he's from North Carolina. And he had brought um, one of his tequilas with them. And our friend Beth had brought two of her tequilas with her. And then we had three. So we are going to try to reproduce that show, uh, the holiday, um, Christmas. So i um, hopeful that they will agree to that and that we can um, get that show out to you. I, I almost want to just publish the show and like ad lib, you know, little <laughs> comments because it truly was a good show. It really we had was. a great time. So we learned a lot about tequila. We did. Bob taught us a lot. Um, a lot. And, and you know, honestly, it's so interesting how much it's like, um, bourbon, how it's aged and yeah. that kind of stuff and how it changes the flavors. So anyways, disappointed that we can't post that. Um, but hopefully we can get that reproduced um, at Christmas time to get that out there for everybody because it was an eye opener and enjoyable um, video. And I don't think there'll be any issue getting everybody to drink six different tequilas no. again. No, not at all. I'm sure not. They were they were phenomenal. So <clears throat> yeah, we'll try it again. We will until we get it. And again, we have that um, 500 subscriber giveaway of the stag. So if you have not liked or subscribed um, to our channel, please do so. It's absolutely free. Just hit that subscribe button and help us get to 500 subscribers because once we do, we'll be giving out, I know a bottle of stag, don't know what else yet, um, to one lucky winner. So please hit that subscribe button, like button, comment, ring the bell, whatever, whatever, whatever you, you feel do. like doing. <laughs> Just get the word out. Yeah. <laughs> And I think that's all we have it is. for this afternoon. So um, I hope everybody enjoys their week. It's almost Christmas. It is. Got the tree and stuff up today. Coming fast. Thanks, Mom, for coming and helping me. <laughs> so thanks for joining us, everybody, and have a great afternoon. Thanks.